Good Monday. I'm Malia. Welcome to Monday Morning Jolt. Let's get started. With us today here is Scott DiMarco, also known as DJ Trent, right? Obviously by the name, <laughs> DJ Trent means you're a DJ, right? <laughs> what does this mean by DJ? As far as what I do DJing wise? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, what does it mean like when, you, when somebody says like you're a DJ? What does that mean? Literally, I mean, the basic is just spinning music. I mean, going, you know, DJing at a club or a wedding or whatever else. I mean, DJing is providing a music. Um, but, I mean, the aspect of what it is today is way different than what it was 10, 15, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, before you might have just done turntables. Now we're working with production. So when somebody comes up to a, a club gig or a, uh, a venue or a big concert, they might be doing multiple things that might be considered similar to like a band. Mm -hmm. So the DJ today is way different than the DJ of yesterday where it was just turntables and records and picking things out and you know that kind of thing. It's it's a whole aspect, it's a whole production mm -hmm. and there's certainly a lot more to just, just the word. Mm -hmm. So now um, Scott, like do you do like a certain genre or like is it like hip hop or what kind of like DJing do you do? I mean it's like a wide range. Very wide range. I mean that's part of the reason my name and I'll certainly go into that in more detail but I mean being trend I focus on what would have been trendy back in the 80s and 90s. I do a lot of genre mixing mm -hmm. where it, it, a mashup you'd call it where I'd have an 80s and 90s track mash, mashed up to like a hip hop song of today. Mm -hmm. So you might hear a beat that you're familiar with from you know, run DMC, but it might be something modern that you're hearing on the radio and you hear the combination and I do a lot of that in my mixes so it's really a cross platform it's, and it kind of appeals to everybody because sometimes I'll do a little bit of a rock in there, a little bit of dance mm -hmm. and really just kind of facilitate whatever the crowd really wants to hear so mm -hmm. not really one genre per se for me, for at least under the DJ Trend name, it's always been just whatever we're looking for to make the party kind of happen. It's they call me a party rock DJ for oh. reasons. So. <laughs> All right. Um, can you tell us why Mondays are great? Mondays are great yeah. because um, for a DJ, we work Fridays and Saturdays and Thursdays, uh, Wednesdays sometimes. Uh, to be honest with you, Sundays and Mondays are my only day off. Sunday, <laughs> Monday. Yeah, yeah, those are my only day off. So <laughs> I actually, I, I'm one person who will always say this. I'm always looking forward to Mondays because that's my day off. I get to actually go and work on other things like you know make music or websites or phot photography or something else that's just unrelated where I actually get to sleep a sleep in good hour you know, and all that and, and and only do one job instead of multiple jobs and all that so yeah, yeah. what do you do to kickstart your Monday? Uh, well I don't know how much you want me to go into aspects of all of my career moves and all that I mean I, I do have a, a full-time gig uh, working with a, a local music manufacturer here. I've been doing that for 10 years and I'm one of the DJ consultants there. So I'm up pretty early on a Monday. Um, but, you know, if you want to tie it to music, I'm always, you know, there's a couple songs on the alarm clock that kind of kickstart yeah. that. And, and then from there, it's just, you know, music is pretty much my life, both day at my day job and night, you know, with my, my night job and all that. So. Yeah, that's great. Scott, I know you do a lot of stuff. And whenever I look, look in the Facebook, you're always up. So I don't even know if you sleep. <laughs> so, <laughs> most people don't, yeah. Most people, yeah. So, tell us, like, give us, like, one advice, like, for your peers or people who are listening to this show or whatever, right? Tell us, like, give us, like, one advice that you can give. Well, the one thing is really just finding things that you love. Um, mm -hmm. And people always ask me that, like, you know, you, know, you don't have time to do this or that. You don't have time to have fun. I'm like, really? Everything I do is absolutely fun because I love to do it. It's not like I, I get up and work a job that I don't want to do. I've been there almost 10 years because I love doing it. I get a chance to talk to people that are starting off in the industry and people that are big in the industry. Mm -hmm. You know, big names like Z-Trip might call in and talk to you, you know, mm -hmm. and, and he gives me advice. So, you know, just working with things that you want to do and then finding the passion behind that kind of evolves into bigger and bigger things. So it doesn't even really matter if it's the goal is to make a million dollars. If the goal is just to have fun or mm -hmm. enjoy your life, I mean, mm -hmm. finding something that really excites you every day is really the key. And that's pretty much what I've done. I mean, everything I do, it's not like I'm reaching out and trying to find things that I just don't want to do. Everything I want to do is right in front of me and you know, I come up with an idea and I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and register this domain and let's see what we can do with this domain and this mm -hmm. domain and whatever else and see how it all ties together in the end. It's just all fun. So I'm just 
finding things that you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. I like that answer. I really like that. And do you have an adage by which you live your life by? I heard some of that in there, what you were saying. but Like a motto? Yeah. You kind of think? Yeah. Um, I mean... Uh, Get up and work. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> do you love and have fun doing it? I mean, yeah, I mean, just don't, don't do anything... I mean, my, I guess my biggest thing is just to try everything, you know, don't regret the, the thing that you didn't try. So, I mean, I've never been one to fear something, you know, like if, you know, I'm going to start this big business or whatever and it's going to cost $10,000 or whatever, I'm, I'm going to find a way to try it, you know, rather than worry about, okay, I might lose $10,000. <laughs> I mean, the regret there would just be not trying. And that's one thing I've always been out to do is just try to find a way to make things happen in one way or another and, and just don't live a life in regret. You know, we only have mm -hmm. one chance here and just make it happen. So, if you were to have a superpower, what would that be? Oh my. <laughs> uh, you know, honestly, the superpower I need is not not being able to sleep. You know, being able to stay up 24-7 <laughs> would be my superpower. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> that's the one thing I need more is time. And if I didn't have to sleep, I could literally do this 24-7. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. <laughs> Can you tell us something about you that would surprise people who think they know you? Uh, wow. I mean, the, I mean, if you dig into my Facebook at, at all, I mean, I, I own 27 websites. Um, I started, the reason for my back end for DJ Trend is actually a marketing ploy. Um, I started Trend Planet um, Incorporated back in 1999 in Irvine, California. And uh, when I was kind of promoting it, I kind of did it in the same way. Richard Branson does a lot of his stunts where I, mm -hmm. I'd show up and I'd do some crazy gig or whatever mm -hmm. and whatever it is you know, a flash mob or whatever, and so, you know, it kind of things, just trendy things, and when I got into more of the musical aspect of doing, like, clubs and that kind of thing, um, people used to call me DJ Trend Planet, because that was the name of my company, but that was a little long, so <laughs> we just shortened it, and probably since around 2001, I've been DJ Trend, working for Trend Planet, and Trend Planet is this kind of just massive umbrella of 20-some websites, everything from... Like, I, I recently, about five years ago, or maybe four or five years ago, um, I heard Miley Cyrus' song, Party in the USA. Yeah. And <laughs> one of the opening lines of that is, Welcome to the lame, Land of Fame Excess. Mm -hmm. And I started thinking about that, and that's a pretty interesting kind of term. So, you know, immediately I'm thinking, how can I promote that? How can I use that? And so I went out and I registered fameexcess.com. Oh, and wow. And wow. one of my websites that I'm going to use for, like, kind of celebrity gossip and that kind of thing and <laughs> Hollywood kind of things and basically what she was talking about in her song yeah and so you know I look for things like that all the time like um, I can't even think about how many different websites we've got like one of the ones we did about 10 years ago I used to work for Fox News in Indianapolis as um, it was called the now gen mm -hmm. and basically it was a, a group of young kids 13 to 24 um, 25, I guess I might have been around that time frame, I don't know, I'm like 10 years, no, I was probably 19 or 20 then, but either way, we started that group, and it was called the Now Zone, we'd get up every morning at 6 in the morning and talk about, you know, things that are important in our lives, you know, how to get homework done, how to work with your parents, how to, you know, deal with bullying, whatever, that yeah. kind of stuff, and so, after the news organization lost that funding to do that show, and we did it for two years, I bought the name from them, and so one of my, my goals here sometime in the next five years, if we can pull it all together, is to take that Nalgen, which is the Nalgen.com is what I own, and turn it into basically what we had 10 years ago, but for the web, and allow wow. for, for kids I like and that. stuff. Like that. Well, that's kind of surprising for people to think yeah. that about you, that you would do something like that. I do a lot of stuff unrelated yeah. to DJing. Yeah. That's the big thing. <laughs> yeah, because it's not related. I, you know, most probably wouldn't guess that. Mm -hmm. I like that. And I think, one, like, thing. I think one thing that not many people realize is like you help a lot of people. Yeah. You have made like a huge impact on a lot of people, that's right? So I think it just comes around. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. right? yeah I believe karma is there, definitely. <laughs> I mean, one way or another, I mean, you're definitely... If you help somebody out just for the sole reason of helping them yeah. out without looking for anything in return, eventually, you know, you might need something that they do, mm -hmm. and and they can help you, and they're willing to. Mm -hmm. I, I always would by that motto or yeah, that adage. Yeah, that adage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, out of that yet. <laughs> so, Scott, how do people get hold of you? Uh, that's the great thing about me is I'm pretty easy to connect with. Um, I I'm very deep into technology. So I literally have about 20 different ways somebody could find me, like on Google or... I mean, it literally, if you do a Google search today for DJ Trend, I'm the top search. And there's a reason for that. I learned SEO a long time ago. 
and all of my websites are SEO and so like if you Google that you're gonna find DJ Tran you'll find my phone number my phone number is through Google Voice I set it up to where it'd be easy for people to remember so it's literally all for fun mm -hmm. is my number mm -hmm. so if you're in Fort Wayne you dial 260 all for fun that's my number that's awesome and, I like that uh, <laughs> and then my Twitter is easy to remember it's D at DJ Trend um, Facebook is DJ Trend everything is exactly how it should be um, I was just lucky enough because I got on the bandwagon six to ten years ago when yeah. you know everything was kind of going branding, branding and all yeah. that and and I got on to literally Friendster first and then MySpace and I, I literally at one time had over 15,000 people on MySpace when it was relevant <laughs> and, and they're still there but I don't think that's relevant anymore um, but yeah I mean just googling typing in DJ Train you're gonna find every bit of information you need to get in touch with me and I pretty much respond to stuff Mm -hmm. All day long, I probably get around four or five hundred emails a day. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we would like to thank Scott for coming and joining us today, and I would like to thank you, the audience, for listening in. And um, we are recording at uh, the Cell Bed and Breakfast, downtown Fort Wayne. And this is Monday Morning Jolt. Use it. <laughs>